the car. I just scraped in the Audi on the road. The grooves on the road are so awful that I think I just bottomed out my car while driving. <laughs> We gotta do our daily checkup on the FI exhaust. Let's see how it's coming along right in here. Uh, yeah, it's definitely changed color. It's got a way more titanium finish now than just a full on chrome that we started with. So that's actually cool to see how that's progressed over time. Now, if you guys missed the last video on us installing and hearing the sound difference of the FI exhaust, go check that out. But we're not done with stuff with it just yet. I wanna show you guys something really cool that they gave me. This is our fancy remote cover case right here because this is our bland black remote. So we're gonna plop this on. Voila, now we have our Fancy remote finished off in our nice Utah white control ring right here Even though it's kind of like a silver if you ask me it now goes along with the car I'm gonna slide this out and it says on the back the authenticity card here Certifies that your products are genuine FI exhaust and confirm that it has been subjected to the most Exacting quality control. I guess there must be people out there that are faking FI exhaust so I gotta have a certification card in here that tells me that what I have is legit. I mean, by the sounds of it so far, it definitely sounds legit. I always like to be Mic approval. One more. Ooh. The FI just wants to scream, and we're gonna let it scream. First tunnel in the FI exhaust. Oh my god! It's gonna be harder to drive this car slow now with this exhaust. That's all I'm gonna say. We got all the all the fellows, the friends, the gents, all in the parking garage. I feel like I gotta give them a little taste of the, the FI magic. Are you ready to hear it? Run it, dude. Let's, let's run it. I'll, I'll put it on the back of the car. A Lamborghini race car. Yeah, no, That's no, pretty no. sick. It's mainly the crackles mixed in with just that, that high note. All right, let's dip out of here before the police show up. Too much attention. <laughs> How much power are you pushing out? Uh, it makes 870 on pump and 940 on E. <laughs> 940, some meat on there. Good lord. Interior on the carbon, interior on the seats, that's all factory. Wow. Oh yeah, dude, this is nice. Yeah, this is a brilliant spec, I must say. I think it's cool because you like don't normally just find like crazy yeah. power cars just lurking oh, around here. Yeah. You'll find like exotics and nice stuff, but it's most people, it's hot. Yeah, yeah, you don't just find people running around like 940 wheel horsepower cars at the gas station. That Z06 completely would walk this thing. No chance, no chance. Socks off. Okay, when he goes by, people are going cha-ching, thinking catalytic converter. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, 
gonna be real with all y'all. We don't. <laughs> we we don't want the smoke. Uh, uh, yeah, we out of here. We don't want the sauce. Yes. I think 375 wheel horsepower and 295 wheel torque. He makes triple your horsepower. <laughs> and he has the same amount of cylinders in there. So I got a very special little box in the mail today. And of course, I'm going to show you guys all about it. It may be small, but oh ho ho, this is a powerful little box. You guys might recognize the company of VF Engineering. I know VF does make some crazy monstrous stuff such as a whole supercharger kit for this car. Now, obviously, the entire supercharger kit is not packed into this tiny box, so that's not exactly what it is. But this is, in fact, a tune and a very little powerful tune that unlocks a lot that could come out of this thing. Now, I'm gonna dive into some R8 nerdy stuff, so just bear with me here. But the model that I have is a 2017 V10 base, and it is not a plus model because the plus models have the signature carbon wing that's on the back, and they also have a decent amount more horsepower than this car does. This car stock has around 540. The plus models have just over 600. With that said, I do have the exact same engine as the plus models, as well as the same engine that comes in the Lamborghini Huracan. So of course, because I have a base model, they completely detuned that engine and limited me. And what this VF box allows me to do is just unlock the rest of the horses that were trapped in there so that I can now be as fast as the Lambos, the V10 pluses. Now, I've never touched tuning a car this nice, let's just put it that way. But the VF stuff makes it really, really easy that basically anyone can do it as long as you have a laptop and the correct cord that could go into the OBD2 port. So right now, the tune is actually getting loaded as we speak onto the car. This bad boy's getting suited up. We're about to unleash the rest of the horses in there. And uh, if this VF tune is anything like the last VF tune I had on my old Red R8, then this thing is gonna freaking fly. Would you be up for a challenge? A challenge? Oh man, what's the challenge? Okay, so I just got a new tune on this car, okay. so it's a little bit quicker than stock. If I put $100 straight up on the dash, do you want to try and grab it when I do a launch right out here? Wait, what? So it's called, the, it's called the grab the dollar challenge, and basically you have until I probably hit like 60 to see if you could grab it while under acceleration. From inside the car? Yeah, from inside the car. You up for I'm the challenge? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, she's in. Like, <laughs> yeah, so you can put your seatbelt on, but here's what you're gonna have to do is go like this, Over. otherwise it's gonna lock it. Yeah, and I've yeah. seen a lot of people, a lot of fails. Put her in sport. I'll give you the 60 miles an hour, basically. Okay, three, two, one. of a struggle a little bit of a struggle still didn't even break in the second gear man dang i guess it's time to supercharge this thing congratulations 100 bucks richer now yay <laughs> here you go you can have it seriously yeah what the heck yeah i'm not i'm not gonna i'm not gonna play games i'm not gonna play games and just use fake props play fun games win fun prizes Basically, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna tape a $100 bill over there and I'm gonna do a hard launch. And if you can snag it before I get to 60 miles an hour, then you can keep it. What the, okay. <laughs> Like, I completely 
did not shift it from first in time, but that worked to my advantage because that completely like stuttered you out. So you had to like readjust your hand. Yeah. <laughs> Once I didn't miss gears and the, I just kept on shifting up, the car's transmission is so smooth that it works towards your advantage yeah. because there's nothing getting in your way from there on out. Basically what I would probably say is doing this in a manual car next time would make it even trickier because that jolt in between shifts will definitely mess someone up a lot more. I don't know. I might have gotten the 60 before you got it, but regardless, you eventually picked it up and, and I'll be the nice game show host of the day and I'll let you take it home. That is, uh, that's the dollar challenge in the R8. We need stronger tape. We need stronger tape. Fail number one. <laughs> it needs Might a... be in the bloopers. 